Welcome back everyone, I'm Jay Barino and this is StarCraft Mass Recall, a StarCraft Brood War remake in StarCraft 2. We are playing Looming, Loomings, Ugh. Loomers, <laughs> Loomings, the precursor campaign. This is Mission 2, the Gauntlet. Receiving incoming transmission. Greetings again, Lieutenant. I know you're anxious for some answers about those creatures. Suffice to say they are the subject of current high-level research. We had quarantined a number of these creatures for study, but shortly after our science crews began their experiments, all communication with the Flanham installation was lost. The installation has been compromised, and preliminary scanner sweeps indicate the area is crawling with hostiles. My Cerberus unit will handle the situation inside, but we require Alpha Squadron's assistance getting there. Any other information is on a strict need-to-know basis. Okay, so bring two Cerberus Firebats to the installation entrance. I think we can do that. Though I don't want to speak too soon, considering the last mission was uh, pretty challenging for mission one. We've got another really cool cinematic pan in here. The Flanum installation base, Chow Sara Colony. So this time it's us v Zerg, and we do have the Cerberus guys to help us, and we need to keep at least two of the Firebats alive in order to get to the uh, the entrance, and they should be pretty beefed up and uh, be hero units. Not really sure. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty beefed up, so... Um, I'll probably throw Firebats in these bunkers because um, they are pretty darn good, but I have to be careful that they don't die. So it's kind of as if... Um, They've replaced the beginning of Rebel Yell with these missions, because you can see they do, like, the if things get too dicey, we go in the bunkers line. And, I don't know, that just, um, that's, that's in Rebel Yell, so... At the same time, these were released as a demo for people who didn't even have the original StarCraft game. Or, I mean, not necessarily. If you had StarCraft, you could download these from Battle.net, but you could get the precursor missions, I believe, as a, as a demo without owning the game. So, um, I actually go ahead and... Get a refinery here. Now, refineries, assimilators, extractors, whatever you will, whatever have you, um, they are a hundred in uh, Brood War, so that's why... Um, that's why I have to save up just a little bit more. They're not 75 like they are in StarCraft II. Alright, so I expect the Zerg to attack me. I'm kind of curious to know if they're going to come down here as well. Let's take my Goliaths and uh, scout around up here. Now, Goliaths, uh, they can be repaired, and they're They've got 300 health. That's actually pretty darn good. I'm kind of curious to know if there's an expansion I can take as well. Base is under attack. How's that going? Oh, just fine. The Cerberus, uh, the Cerberus Firebats just completely smoked those assholes. So uh, let's check up here too. Um, we'll see if we're facing like non-stop attacks. One other nice small thing that they added is you can set your SCVs to auto repair. Little things like that that they've added in Mass Recall that just they, it just adds a little bit of playability, and I, I really, really, really enjoy that. Um, no medics. Even though I have the Brood War tech turned on, no medics. Uh, I'm okay with that. I'm I'm absolutely fine with that, even though I liked using the medics uh, in Rebel Yell. So, um, go ahead and pull this uh, SCV off. I don't feel like I'm going to have to leave um, my SCV right there to repair when I get attacked. If the bunker dies, it's really not a big deal. So let's start my weapons level 1. Same reason as last mission. The uh, the weapons and armor upgrades take I think noticeably longer so uh, than they do in StarCraft 2 which is why I want to start them earlier. Uh, and I'm pretty much going to do the same thing except uh, so it's just going to be Marines and Firebats. Though I might have some more Firebats uh, for uh, for some support against Zerg because Firebats noticeably better against Zerg because of the amount of Zerglings they'll be sending against us. As opposed to Marines while Firebats do do their bonus damage against Marines, uh, they die very quickly as they're trying to run to get to those Marines. Okay, so, and then if, and then we can uh, use these uh, other units down here for support, so... Okay, great. We'll go ahead and repair this up. Now, when I was a kid, I was, I was kind of a dumb kid, okay? So, I knew that using a Vulture against a, a Zergling was very effective, but when I used a Vulture against a tank, uh, a tank... <laughs> Um, it just it didn't do nearly as as much damage. So, but in the tooltip, it was it didn't say that. It just had a flat amount of damage. Whereas in Mass Recall, they've calculated out those amounts. So now you can see damage 20, but versus small, it does 10 versus medium 15. I think that's 
awesome. That's so awesome that they've included that. Really, I really love that. So, um, so now you can actually see what counters what. Whereas in the original Brood War, you just had to you you learned by doing as opposed to learning by some some planning. And I I am definitely a fan of the learn by doing. I you know I think that's really important and it it makes it adds a challenge to games and it makes them more re rewarding. But at the same time. There's no way you could you could figure that out, especially younger players like myself. Like that was a lot harder to understand was how certain things did better and worse against other stuff. So I don't even think I'll bother researching Stimpak. Just seems like a, a worthless a worthless thing to have without any sort of medics. Again, if we did have medics, they wouldn't be healing as as good as the UED medics. But they're they're better than nothing. But they really are not good. <laughs> um, so the people that complain about it, I can respect your opinion, but I, I don't think it's as big of a deal because the medics are really, really shitty, and they mostly just take up supply and the range that they, they have to be so close to your units, they just don't they don't help so much that it breaks the game. Alrighty, so if I remember correctly, we have to go up and around. Going left, I don't think is where we're gonna have to end up. You okay, well I thought I could maybe save him, but I guess not. Um Okay, I might get another bunker, and I'll probably replace the uh, the fire bats inside uh, with normal fire bats. Um, yeah, so I'll get a bunker okay. here as okay. well, so that'll defend against this side and this side doubly. Okay, more marines, and all right, we started all of our upgrades. I could get spider mines. I don't like them because you can't replenish them. I don't know. That's just that's the way it is. Things will never be the same. That's just the way it is. Oh, yeah. And if you haven't heard that song by Tupac, um, you're really missing out, and you should. So I would like to scout out and maybe find another base. That would be really, really nice. Um, I might as well take what I have. I'm going to run out of money here if I don't. Um, also getting money at a very, very slow rate. I recommend bringing along an SCV for emergency repairs. So that's basically him saying, hey, you can repair your stupid, stupid idiot guys. Okay, we'll get that in there. I'll just leave the Cerberus, um... And eh, no, I won't. Seems like it'd be a bad idea to leave them. So you get in there. And you hop in there. We'll bring the Cerberus guys with us, but we can't heal them. So maybe I'll just leave them at home. Um, we'll put one in here, sure. And, uh, we'll put one up here, so... There we go. Okay, and you guys stay at home. And I really... Yeah, I just need more Marines, so, um... Did I start another supply depot? I don't think I did. Let's go ahead and get two. Okay, again, I would love an expansion, but I don't know where I could get one. Um, let's hotkey my... that thing to five. Oh, that's bad. You guys back up. And now get in here. Hop in this bunker, Marine. Keep backing up. So the attacks are are kind of challenging this mission. For mission for mission two, it can be hard, and, and we don't have a lot of minerals, so it can be kind of hard to know when to attack, when to stay home, because you don't have a lot of resources to work with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and repair up my Goliaths. I guess I could get another barracks, but I, I can't really afford to build off of two that much, so... Um, there's one Cerberus one, and there's another one. Okay, so we should be fine here. Um... I guess get back to mining. I swear there was a, a a place to get minerals from on this map, but I might just be completely full of bullshit here. Um, okay, you get back to mining. Keep making marines. We just need a lot of marines to get attacking here. Um, okay, and I guess Goliaths, you just just hang out because I don't want you to die. I don't want the Cerberus guys to die, and they'll just help. Help support. If I lose two Cerberus fire bats, it's really not the end of the world. Um, as long as I have two other ones that can make it. Now, I'd prefer to have them unscathed because any damage they take is just going to make it even harder on me to get to the facility because um, it increases their chances of death. So, let's keep scanning over here. It looks like a base down here. If I take that out, that should really alleviate some of the pressure because they'll only be attacking me from one direction instead of both. Um, it's getting there and taking it out, though, because I don't really have enough stuff. These guys have four armor, though. That's pretty crazy. I should just bring... I'm just going to bring these. Um, uh, I just don't want to put the fire bats in harm's way, because they're going to die real quick, because they're the only melee units that I have. Hmm. 
Once all these marines finish, I'll probably wait for the next zerg attack, and then I'm going to head out. Uh, see if I can take out this zerg base, then I'll start moving up in this direction. Again, um, if I take out this zerg base, I could probably take it and use it as an expansion, because we have zero money here left. Really not a lot of stuff, so... All right, you guys finish. Um, here comes the next group of stuff. Uh, we've got uh, mutalisks too. That's pretty wild. Um, can we get over here? No, we can't save the bunker. Cerberus Firebat taking some damage. Fuck him. <laughs> um, rebuild that. Rebuild another bunker there. Let's um. Let's just go. You know what? Frankly, I don't care about those Cerberus Firebats as long as they stay alive. Um, and we'll make another depot. The next Zerg attack I anticipate to be coming from this direction, so that's why I am going to be going in this direction, because uh, then I can kind of cut off their attack and also um, be ready for the next attack as well by um, attacking in this direction. Uh, will they have sunken colonies? Yes, they will. The sunken colony animation they used from the Impaler colonies, which I think is real, 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 real cool. Um, this base really not heavily defended, so I think I made the right choice. Um, I didn't bring any SCVs along for emergency repairs, but who cares? We can repair them after. Okay, so take out that spawning pool, kill the Zerglings, the... We're just... We have enough stuff here that uh, I think we're in really good shape. Um, they're still attacking me from down here, and I really wish they wouldn't be doing that. I'm... Uh, these units might have been, um... Beyond. Um... Are, are they really running their drones? Holy crap. Um... I'd like to take this base for sure. I guess I could keep pushing and see what I can do. Um, maybe make it all the way to the installation. That would be really neat. Did I lose any? Oh, wow. Wow, you run. Run, run, run. Um, I did lose a Cerberus Firebat, it looks like. Though I don't recall... Oh, one's still in the bunker. Okay, so... Ah, so they can come from over here, too. Of course they can. Um, you can repair up. We're going to set you to auto-repair. Again, taking this base seems prudent. Um, let's... You go ahead and move. Um, let's queue up more Marines. Alternatively, I could be making a command center over here, but I'm going to take my chances and go and go for the win. So let's go ahead and bring SCVs so that we can repair my Goliaths. The Goliaths are faster than my Marines and Firebats, so I kind of keep them a little, a little further back and uh, use them to maybe path block. So, oh god, you guys are getting killed. Um, watch out. All right, we need to stop moving across this bridge because we're getting blocked by my single fire bat. And kill these zerglings, great. And uh, kill these zerglings. These zerglings, I think they're they're kind of bringing in to uh, reinforce the units that are getting killed here. I want to kill this stuff so that my uh, reinforcements can make it. Use Cerberus fire bat. Well, I want to keep alive everything that I can. Um, we're gonna bring my other Cerberus fire bat. Make sure they're all up there just in case. And uh, let's go. Now, the only Zerg base that's uh, available to attack me is the one up here. So, um, because of that, we should be able to uh, just attack in this direction freely and not be too afraid of getting attacked at home because we should be cutting the Zerg off before they can get to me. That's my hypothesis. It might not be the case. Um, all right, we've got some Zerglings up here. And let's just kind of scan this whole area. It looks like this is the only area they can come in, so let's... Uh, Let's get up there. You guys, back up. I could bring my SCVs to attack, too. Okay, yeah. Let's, uh... Here's their next attack I think they were coming at me with, uh, but they were going around the other way. But We're kind of cutting them off, which is really, really important. And that means their attack that they're going to come at me with is going to be a lot less so. Uh, so now we're, I, I feel like I'm in a much better, better spot, so... We are supply blocked. We have a ton of Marines. Um, unsure where those Zerglings are going. It seems like they're trying to send units back uh, and rebuild at their their other base down bottom. And fuck that. Fuck that. That's not going to happen. Almost lost one Firebat. Want to make sure we don't lose these. Um, okay, you guys. All my heroes, hotkey to one, and we're going to keep you in the back. And let's kind of keep this going. Are we okay here? Yes. Um, SCVs, you don't need to be attacking as much. Um, is that a mutalisk? It is. You two. Um, attack him. And let's not stop our our main force here. Um, what is going on here? We've got a lot of hydralisks. It seems maybe they're like programmed to attack where the, um, the Cerberus units are instead. Guardians, huh? 
Okay, well, um... Wow. Um, attack. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> um, there's that Mutalisk still. We want to draw him in. Okay, and make more Marines. Now, I don't know if I have enough here to make it, um, and I need to make sure my Cerberus, my Cerberus guys uh, still survive. I'm going to head up in this direction. All right, let's see. You guy, you move out because you're going to... Nope, he's going to die. Oh, no, he didn't die. Okay. Cerberus, please, 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 um, survive. Ooh, this is going to be close if I make it, I think. Oh, that's a lot of Zerglings. Get in there, Firebats. That's a lot... Oh, my word. I think we're okay. We only have two Firebats left. Is this enough to make it? I think we have to go down and around, unfortunately. You Firebats, please don't die. Oh, my word. I really fucked this up, didn't I? Okay. Keep attacking. Hopefully there aren't more, uh... Aren't more Guardians. Um, maybe we've made it through the thick of things. Where are you guys going? Oh, we have to go down, all the way down and around, if I remember correctly. I really doubt this is enough to make it, but I'm going to make a run for it and see if I can. Um, I don't have enough to expand. Um, yeah, uh, pretty uh, pretty challenging mission. Um, I'm going to lead with the Marines. Actually, I should be leading with the Goliaths. Holy crap. All right, we can make it. We can make it. We can make it. We're going to make it. I don't know where the other Zerg base is, but I want to avoid going through it if I can. Okay, let's um, let's just make sure we're taking the right path to where we need to go. I really hope there's not more freaking guardians. That was a pretty ridiculous, uh, a ri ridiculous thing. All right, um, you be careful. I only have two Cerberus firebats left. Obviously, I'm playing this very sloppily. Oh no! Oh, this is bad. Um, you run. You run. Okay, that was their next big attack. We're going for it. I think we can... We're here, we're here, we're here. We can make this. Oh, God, an Ultralisk. Oh, God, an Ultralisk. Oh, God, run. Run. <laughs> attack. Make a run for it, Cerberus Firebats. Make a run for it. Oh, my God. Oh my god, we did it! Activist reached the installation. You watch things out here. We'll take care of things inside. <laughs> I absolutely should not have won that. <laughs> How great. That actually was pretty challenging, because you have, like, no resources on that map. What are you supposed to do? I guess I could have built up a little more before moving out, but then I would not have been, uh, been out of minerals. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.